It's not every day you get a chance to work on a large-scale ecosystem regeneration project in Ecuador. Needless to say, when I was hired for the project, I was excited to get started. Creating a system in the cloud forest has immense benefits and trade-offs. For one, the climate is friendly to life. Plants grow year-round, water and rain is plentiful, and in this ecosystem, agroforestry systems was a natural choice for productive and profitable systems because trees grow quickly and they have the biomass and water they need. Putting Zepp Holzer's methods to use in the Ecuadorian cloud forest might seem like a challenge, but the same principles that apply in the Austrian Alps also apply here. Maximize water retention within the landscape, maximize biodiversity and ecosystem health, and creating a diversity of income streams from the landscape. The client's needs were clear. They wanted to capture and hold as much water as possible, grow as much food as possible, capture and store the spring water that was ample on the property, and produce a self-reliant agro-tourism center for people to come, learn, and connect with nature. The site we were working with actually had a variety of challenges. The material wasn't great for pond building, it had a low fine material content. So the first step was to do a test slice into the geology of the project and begin to understand what we were working with as far as material. The pond was designed to extend the seasonal rainfall throughout the year. Even though this region receives three meters of rainfall, they have a long dry season and this highly degraded cow pasture would get dry and dusty late into the summer season. This project developed very quickly. Within one month, the greenery that you see is quite amazing. In such a productive, viable ecosystem, it's really incredible what can happen in a short amount of time. And so with this system, we have a variety of interconnected terraces, paddies, a pond, and it all connects and wraps around a lodge site, which would be built for people to come and experience the center. Tapping a spring is not something for novices. It's something that requires an immense amount of delicacy as the spring can easily be damaged. And so you're looking to do the minimum amount you need to in order to put that water coming from the earth body into a pipe. Working with the holes developed by the crabs was quite interesting as it posed some new challenges. The water wasn't running through sediment as it usually would be, but rather a hole bored into the clay created by the crab. The agro-tourism center that will be developed here will not just be a productive oasis for people to come and eat food entirely produced from the land, but it will be a beautiful example of what partnering with nature can yield. Because not only will a productive landscape be achieved, but it will also be a beautiful landscape where people can come, witness the various wildlife that will take part in the system, witness the blossoms, the different fruit, the different vitality that exists, and really take the time to connect and learn from nature. For more information about water restoration and Holzer permaculture, visit us at elementalecosystems.com.